1977's Galaxy of Stars twinkled brightly on a summer night this week in Yankee Stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, the National League All-Stars lined up against the American League All-Stars for baseball's 48th All-Star game. But Jim Palmer, the American League starter, has trouble with his pitches from the beginning. Joe Morgan leading off, tees off, and it's out of here. And the National League blitz is underway. Palmer facing Dave Parker. And Parker finds a hit the left field. George Foster hammers one to left center. Yastrzemski plays the relay to Burleson. And here you see Parker turning third, steaming for home. The throw, and he's safe at the plate. That's two across against the Oriole ace. But now here comes Greg Lazinski looking for more. Palmer ready. He delivers, and the bull blasts. It's going, going, and it's gone. And Jackson has to turn away again. Four runs in in the first inning. The third inning, and the American League still not out of the fire. Palmer pitches. Steve Garvey unloads. It's going to deep left field, and look at that long drive. Garvey's homer gave his team a 5 to nothing lead. The National League was in the groove, while the American League looked like they were in for a long night. Rod Carew up at bat. He tries to get things going. A drive to deep center. But now watch George Foster play this beautifully. Right to the wall. And he hauls it down for a 417 foot out. Dennis Eckersley pitching now for the American League. Five to nothing National League. Joe Morgan slams another one to deep right center. But Fred Lynn gets into the act with a great catch. The American League had to start turning things around sometime. And maybe that helped. Once again, Rod Carew, top boat getter of the All-Stars, tries to get things going. Tom Seaver now on the mound for the National League, delivers, and so does Carew. A base hit. Tom had entered with an ovation from the New York fans, but the cheers turned to the American League when Richie Zisk lined this one with two men on. Carew scores, and Fred Lynn follows to make it 5-2 National League. Jumping now to the bottom of the ninth inning. Score, seven to three. Rich Gossage ready to deliver to George Scott with a man on. Scott drives it to the opposite field, high and deep, and it is out of sight. That makes it seven to five. And like we said, the all-star story is generally a power story. With two out, Thurman Munson comes up to pinch hit, and Rich Gossage puts him away with the game's 18th strikeout. The National League keeps its winning streak alive. Gossage gets the save. Dodger Don Sutton gets the win and the MVP award for pitching three scoreless innings. An exciting show for baseball fans everywhere on a summer night when all the stars came out to play. Over on Chicago's south side, the amazing White Sox took on the booming Red Sox this weekend and showed them why they're leading the West. They keep running and just don't look back. The White Sox took two out of three from Boston to stay two and a half games beyond the reach of the hard-charging Kansas City Royals. The Royals are threatening but who would have believed that the White Sox would have the best record in the American League at the All-Star break? The fans just filled the park, and much of that applause belongs to the man who put it all together almost overnight, owner Bill Beck. 